Hey everybody, Hayden with Tierra RV Sales. Today I'm going to be walking you through this 2024 Keystone Arcadia 21 SRK. This is a super light couple's fifth wheel. I'm really excited to show you what it's all about. So let's go take a look. So starting on the outside, the first thing I want to talk about is this new graphics package that you get for the 2024 model year. It's a lot simpler, a lot more refined than uh, the last year models. I think it looks really, really good. So starting up front here, you got this nice road armor pin box. And if we step up under into this uh, compartment here, you'll see you have your spare tire um, place where your batteries will go. So your battery bank. Um, battery disconnect switch here so you can disconnect your battery when you're not using it so it's not drawing power uh, this is a charge controller this is a 30 amp charge controller that's upgraded from 15 in years prior as well as your solar disconnect so here we are on the uh, off door side of this arcadia 21 srk and you'll get another good look at this new graphics package but the first thing i want to hit on on this off door side is on the other side of this pass-through storage you get this really nice wet dock station. So starting up at the top and working our way down, you get this nice external shower. So you can hose the kids off if they get dirty, super easy. Moving down, you get an easy winterized system with this nice winterized switch just on and off. Below that is your city water connection. So when you're camping at a site with uh, water hookups, you plug it into there, it's nice and convenient. Moving down, you get your easy tank flush as well as both your pole handles in here. You don't have any other pole handles on this unit. Uh, really nice and convenient to have them both in this wet dock station. And if we move just to the right is your fresh water connection. So when you're gonna be camping off the grid, this is where you would fill up your water to fill the tanks. Um, so really nice and convenient next to that wet dock station. The last thing I wanna hit on on the outside is your uh, power source or where you're going to be plugging in at and this does support 50 amp service right now there's only one ac on this unit but it uh, does come prepped for a second ac so here we are on the off door side and the first thing that i want to hit on before i touch on a couple other things is this gerard on-demand hot water heater so the nice thing about an on-demand wa hot water heater is you're never going to run out of hot water it's instantaneous you don't have to wait to fill up a limited capacity tank it is just right there for you Super convenient. There's, you're seeing this on all Arcadias this year, which is a super nice touch. Really big fan of that. If we step back, uh, a thing that really stood out to me is you get these really nice frameless windows. These are the same windows that you're seeing on Raptors on in Montana's. So it just gives it a super high end feel at this price point. So uh, shout out to Arcadia for doing that. Moving to the left, uh, something that's really cool about this big pass-through storage is this is a slam latch door, but it is both. It is held on by only magnets. You don't have those finicky little uh, clip-in attachments. It's both magnets. That's uh, another thing on the outside where they definitely didn't cut corners and it makes it feel uh, like a more uh, superior, really high-end product. Really big awning up top that's gonna give you a lot of shaded campsite space. It's all unobstructed, so I really like that. Uh, and last but not least, something that I wanna talk about is this is equipped with the Solar Flex 220. So that's gonna come with a 220 watt solar panel up top. Uh, it includes that 30 amp charge controller that we saw up in that front compartment, as well as the solar disconnect for when you are storing it, not using it, and just wanna turn off that solar altogether. But that pretty much wraps up our uh, you know, walkthrough of the outside. So we're gonna take a step inside and give you a look at what this floor plan has to offer. So we're inside the 21 SRK and I gotta say, I'm a really big fan of this floor plan. I like these more compact, smaller fifth wheels that are a lot easier to tow than some of your bigger alternatives in the market. But we're gonna start in the back in this rear kitchen. I really am a big fan of the white uh, and the black that they got going on in here. The white cabinets with the black accents that match these appliances. You get a lot of storage with the drawers and cabinets, a lot of countertop space, this really nice single basin sink, stainless steel. And if we move over, you get Furion appliances around that are in that black, this nice three burner cooktop and a 10 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. Another thing that I'm a big fan of is these tan accents that they got going on in here that goes really well with the white wood. So another thing in this kitchen before I move up onto the kind of living room area is this booth dinette. Now this will drop down into additional sleeping for kiddos, but 
One thing I thought was a really great use of space is underneath this dinette, you have a nice spot for shoes. You could fit quite a few pairs of shoes in there. And I think that's just uh, Arcadia making great use of the space uh, and making it really convenient. So when you step in to your coach, you can take your shoes off, not track a bunch of stuff in here. So shout out to them for doing that. Moving forward into the living room area, this is a trifold sofa. So it will break down or, or come out into additional sleeping. So that's another spot that you can sleep kids on if you were to bring kids along with you. Now, this is definitely a couple's coach, but it's nice that they give you the, you know, that sort of opportunity to bring kids with you and make it convenient. Across from that uh, trifold sofa is your entertainment center. Now, when I sit down on this entertainment center, the TV may seem a little high, and it is a little high, but it's, no, it's not too bad. I'm not hurting my neck sitting down looking up at the TV. So, um, you know, it's really not much of a, a sore to look up at. So props to them for really keeping it as low as they could with that campsite window. Um, again, it's really not that bad to look up to that. Additional storage on each side of that TV. And then even more, this is a ton of storage to the left here. If I open it up, you can just see how deep that storage is. Nice shelves in there too. So they really went above and beyond and giving you the an extra amount of storage pretty much uh, in all the places that they could inside this fifth wheel. As you can see, you've got nice coat uh, hanging racks as well. So we're gonna move up the stairs into our bedroom and bathroom. And starting in this bathroom, you do get a continuation of that beautiful white uh, cabinetry and drawers uh, paired with that uh, black accents. I think it looks really nice. Solid surface countertops with recessed sinks. Here's the control for your on-demand water heater. So as I mentioned earlier, that endless wa hot water heater, um, right here, you turn it on, you can turn up the temperature, turn down the temperature. Uh, all your control for that is right here conveniently in the bathroom. Looking up, you get this nice mirror. And behind that is additional medicine cabinet space. Uh, floor to ceiling shower. They really extended it all the way down to the floor. So for our taller campers, they're gonna have enough headroom, especially with that skylight above to shower in here pretty comfortably. Towel rack above your toilet, and this is a porcelain toilet from Dometic. Uh, overall, you know, considering the size of the camper, it's pretty compact in there, but I would say they did about as good of a job as they can um, with the space that they are provided. Moving out from that bathroom into the bedroom, this is a queen size bed, north to south bed, and something that stands out to me is all the storage and space around the bed. So on each side, you get these nice nightstands that have inverted outlets, as well as these nice USB and USB-C ports. Additional storage in those nightstands, additional storage above the bed. And if we go over here, you'll see this is a really nice wardrobe slide with lots of hanging space and then drawers underneath it, three drawers underneath. So there's a lot of space to put your clothes in there while you are traveling. So that was the 2024 Keystone Arcadia 21 SRK. I'm a really big fan of this floor plan. Super lightweight, super versatile. It is a great couples coach in my opinion. If you liked the video, drop a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you think of the floor plan. But thanks for watching Hayden with Tierra RV Sales.